Welcome to IKEA University, your official source for community knowledge. In this video, you'll learn how to find pre-existing infobox templates on your IKEA and how to modify them to fit your community's needs. On most IKEAs, you'll find a set of default infobox templates when you go to category templates. These typically have the word infobox in their names. Wikias that have been around for a while may even put their infobox templates into a subcategory such as infobox templates. If you see a message on a page asking you to migrate this infobox, that means it's an older template that is not yet mobile friendly. This template should be converted to a portable markup before you use it. For how to do this, please see your Wikia University video on infobox migration. Infobox templates are usually modified to fit article topics on Wikia. For example, there may be a specialized infobox templates for articles on TV episodes, game items, requests, books, characters, and more. A game item infobox might need info labels like auction price and durability, while labels like air date and season are most useful for a TV episode infobox. Default infoboxes can be used without alteration or they can be modified to better fit your community's needs. For example, if your Wikia covers a game with different types of items, you might want to create a separate infobox template for each item class. Editing templates is only possible in source mode. The visual editor is not available. Otherwise, you can modify an infobox just as you would edit an article. For example, you can remove a line of information by deleting the entire line from the template. To add an extra line of information, you can copy an existing line starting with data source and ending with slash data. Change the source name and quotation marks to what you want it to be, and the text between the label tags to what you want your new label to say. You can also group several rows of information into a subsection by placing them within the group tag. You can add or remove headlines between header tags for your grouped section. You can also specify default text such as the word unknown to appear when there is no information given for that line on an article page. Just add your text between the default tags in each data row. If no default text is specified, that line will simply be hidden in the finished article. Feel free to modify your templates until they feature exactly those pieces of information you want to highlight in your article. And don't forget to hit the publish button when you're done. If you're not sure what information should be in your info box, why not check what other communities on similar topics have done? Their info boxes can serve as examples and inspiration. Today we learned how to find default info box templates on a Wikia and how to adapt them to your community's needs. This is the perfect way to showcase detailed information in a clean and concise way.